following the approval of the electoral bill, INEC has updated its schedule, giving political parties between April 4th to June 3rd to conduct primaries. This means that political office holders interested in vying for positions must resign by June 3rd. Section 84, sub 1 of the Electoral Act provides that no political appointee at any level shall be a voting delegate or be voted for at the convention or congress of a political party for the purpose of the nomination of candidates for any election. Consequent upon President Buhari's directive, anyone in his cabinet who is vying for public office must resign on or before May 16, 2022. Those affected by this directive include the governor to the central bank, Mr. Emir Fele, Minister of Transportation, Mr. Rotimi Amechi, Niger Delta Affairs Minister, Mr. Godswill Akpabio, Minister for Labor and Employment, Chris Ingige, Minister for Science, Technology and Innovation, Ogbonaya, State for Education, Emeka Nwajiba, and for Petroleum, who have all joined the presidential race on the platform of the All Progressives Congress, APC. Others are the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, who is vying for the Kebi governorship seat. Minister of State, Mines and Steel, Uche Oga, who is running for the governorship position in Abia State, and the Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline Tallinn, who declared her ambition to contest for a senatorial seat in Plateau State. Following the President's directive, four serving ministers have resigned whilst we await a compliance of the directive by the others. While it is a standard norm on every democracy to vow for office, it will never be in the public interest for political appointees to stay in office once elective interest has been indicated. So what do you guys think about the political um, office orders vying for presidential um, positions and other positions? Um, for me, I think they are Nigerians, qualified Nigerians, and they should vie for elective positions once they meet the criteria. That's one. But two, I think that since the law says they have to resign, they have to abide by the law and follow through to the letter. Because by not doing so, by contesting the law at this stage, it just indicates what, how their character, just, just an indication of their character. Mm -hmm. Because that just means that they would always flout the rule of law if mm -hmm. and when they get into an appointed position. That's my take. Mm -hmm. Well, to me, I, you are right, but I would, two of the candidates there, I'm talking of the Attorney General and the CBN governor, the two of them, are handling something sensitive. They are not supposed to be politically exposed. Exactly. As a CBN governor, you have no business with politics. It's wrong. You shouldn't have that have have ambition. It's wrong. You shouldn't even think of buying a nomination form. So I don't know what we are talking about. But yeah, the, 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 well, it, the rule of, it doesn't stop anomalies. them from doing what it. What kind of precedence are we setting for the future? It's not a shame. It doesn't stop them from doing it. Central bank. Governor of Central Bank is supposed to be non-partisan. You shouldn't be interested in politics. Former governor of Central Bank is now the current governor no, no, of that's the that's of the Anambra case. State. So it shouldn't they should they should be able to vie for a political a position. Case. It's different. If you if you if you had resigned some years ago, 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 it's a different case. Okay. Yeah, not again, that you are still in the corridor. Ah, why should you, you just? Mean? That's why they have to resign. Uh, in order to, it's, that's it's why there's a law that says they should resign. It's, it's too close. It shouldn't even be in this plan. Yes, it's true, really, because when you think about it, that tells you how much you know politics yeah i mean it's a business here but it's it, like it's become almost like so politics should be driven by vision it's within, by vision is leadership so it shouldn't be driven by money so but resigning now means that oh boy it seems that we leave this work and go and do this one where i'm going to have opportunity to you know i mean so i get where elijah is coming from and I get where you're coming from. But I also think that his position is too sensitive to just quickly want to resign at the dying minute just to get the form. So if he's going to make that decision, maybe if he has left office maybe a year ago yeah. or, you know, but I mean, at the nick of time resigning, again, we can have different, I mean, we can have contrasting views around it. But the truth is... Being the CBN governor is a very strategic position in the nation. And leaving that to vie for 
Um, I mean, I, I really even wish I could sit with all of these people. Okay, guys, leave all the sham, leave all the, what's all those buzzwords? You know, I am the man of the people, mm -hmm. I'm tested, trusted, and all, leave all those rubbish. Why do you really, between us, okay. unscripted, X-rated, right? Why do you want to really get on this seat? And you'll probably hear, if we can even have like a meter that measures the intent of the heart, you probably see why people are going for, you know, things. And that's why we're having the whole drama. Because, I mean, even the rat knows that it's drama that's happening. Is that a question? It's, it's just crazy. Is the CBN governor a card carrying member of any party in Nigeria? Allegations say so. And that's Which where is the issue wrong. is. It's wrong. It's, so it's wrong for him to it's do wrong. that in the first place. But for you to... You're supposed to be point. neutral in a way. Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be a neutral yeah. person. When, when Soludu was the CBN governor, he okay. was a professor, he was an academia, went into the banking sector. He was a professional. Now, this other person, there is an allegation that he was a card carry member. So, why will you be a card carry member, be a CBN governor? You are a PEP, politically exposed person. Let, let's hear from Tolu. Tolu, is Tolu still there? What do you have to say about this? Yeah, the only one that is impunity. You know, it's very simple, it's impunity. I agree. Um, because the laws are clear, you know, or the law is clear, you know, the system is clear, the standard is clear. You cannot be a public office holder and then be partisan because that just already means that it's a compromise, it's a conflict of interest. I mean, these these things are basic. Like yeah. These are little things that we should be having conversations about. I remember during the uh, 2020 uh, elections in the US, you know, that you know, a certain person felt, oh, you know, he won the elections, you know, and then for that reason, you know, the new person should not be certified and stuck. You know, and the military was called upon and said exactly. it was without partisan. Exactly. All we do is just follow a laid down institutionalized system. Very simple. We just follow an institution. We are an institution and we follow a laid down set of rules and laws. Do you understand? We don't even have to have information with anybody. These laws are already laid down for hundreds of years. One person cannot just wake up and one day and say, Oh, is president and wants to be president again when the law you know clearly stipulates that you know whoever has to authority you know becomes a new president it's simple the same thing if you're the public office holder and when you took the oath of office you were told that one you can't be partisan two you cannot contest elections three you can't i mean those things were there and you signed the dotted line the moment you go against that two things you have either you resign or you're sacked there's no need to be having a long conversation about it yes. exactly yeah. thank you Thank, thank you. you so much. I mean, thank you so much, Tolu, for that. Yes, thank you so much, Tolu. Up next is Elijah. Stay with us.